All right, so we're gonna drive up Pikes Peak Highway. I believe it's 19 miles, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. Here's the entrance. Y'all enjoy the ride as we time lapse. Continue on Pikes Peak. So all the way up, they have the North Pole, Santa's North Pole. So it's not open right now, but kind of neat. We're on mountain time. Nothing opens until like noon. <laughs> all right, let's keep going up the mountain. Need to go up, so we're stopping and paying right now. We'll see how this goes. I'll tell you about it after we go through it. That there's going to be snow. Yes, it's, they, what do they call it? Socked in. Socked in, so. With no views. <laughs> on the view of being socked in, we'll be able to see as much. So probably see more going up. But so y'all enjoy this little slow ride we're going to do. And uh, we'll see what it's like up there. Some feet. I don't know exactly where we are right now. Yeah, we're about 8,500 feet. Look at this guy. Nice job, buddy. You are a beast. All right, let's keep on going. So we're getting where they have these lakes up at the top. And yeah, so I want to just slow it down, let you see a little bit right here. We're crossing a dam, it looks like, for the lakes. One to our left, and then... Is there one to the right? No, it's just a big lake to the left. Oh, that's beautiful, on the left. <clears throat> so we'll have to... We'll have to look at that when we come back down. That's it's pretty nice. Well, I got a car up here with lights. I'm hoping they don't turn us around. There's a chance we'll have this. We will get turned around. All right, it's just telling us to go slow. Okay, so we're gonna keep on rocking and rolling. And I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna go into the visitor center and just let you give you a look at Pikes Peak. And then we'll take back off. One way here. And you'll get to see the summit. Potty break. So there you go. Beautiful. And the truck's going to part. We're going to come up here where we can see really good. gives you a, a look at that okay all right let's keep on rolling place to stop and use the restroom check out Bigfoot here overlook you can look up on two pikes peak again way up there way up there but it's starting to get cloudy up there. I, don't, whew, I hope we get to make it. All right. I don't know if they're stopping us or if that van up there is just stopping. It looks like they're putting some tar on the road. That's what they're doing. Putting tar on that left side. And anyways, all right. As we're turning and going left and right. I know y'all 
probably getting a little bit woozy watching the screen, but we can handle it. All right, let's go. Eleven thousand feet. We've got three thousand more feet to climb. And the mountain is starting to get bald. It's starting to look like the top of my head. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, we have a little over three thousand feet because well, three thousand one hundred and seventy-four feet. You got it, buddy. All right, let's. Trees are stopping or aren't growing very much up here anymore. This is neat. All right, here we go. Let's well, there's no trees at all. Look at this, JT. Oh, lots of wind up here blowing the car around. <laughs> Did y'all feel that? <laughs> This is amazing. There's like no fencing on the side of the If you look right in front of us, we're passing this tractor. There's some cars making their way up. Kind of shows you where we're going. Higher and higher and higher. That is, what do you think out there to the right, JT? What does that look like? Crazy. Is it crazy down there? <laughs> There's no fencing to our right. That's <laughs> what's crazy. Uh, that's funny. Okay, let's go, let's go, I like it. The video does not do this justice at all. This is almost a little bit creepy, isn't it? Yeah. I like it. I'm creeped out by it. Are you creeped out by it? All right, they're getting, the, they're getting all the snow trucks ready. This is neato. I may leave it like this till we get to the top. I don't know if I'm going to time lapse anymore. Maybe a little bit. Look at the rocks. There. I don't know if we could. Do you think you could ride your bike up this stuff? No. The cars are so much higher than we are. All right, I'm gonna hit the time lapse. And we'll the creepiest drive I've ever done in my whole life. Yeah. Everybody's starting to get a little bit shaky. I can hear it in their voices. This is wild. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hug this left, the middle over here. Especially with the clouds moving as quickly as they are. They are moving quickly. Are you getting cold sweat in your hands? Yes. <laughs> no. Not yet. I need to take a picture of your face, Beth. You're, you're getting that worried look in your eyeballs. <laughs> Just keep your eyes straight on the road. That's amazing engineering. You're right, JT, to just be able to build this road. I would be creeped out. I guess you just get used to it as you get higher and higher. Look at these people are off taking some pictures to the left. We'll have to get a picture like that, maybe. All right, so we are uh, at marker 16. It doesn't tell you how high we are. I don't know. It's good. We're climbing quicker, though. We're climbing quicker. So much. So there's a lot of people stopping right here. I'm thinking let's get to the top before we stop. Just so 
because there's a chance they might run us out of here. All right, so we're gonna flatten up a little bit. All right. Subaru Outback feels like it's struggling a little bit. Oh, there's a little hike people are doing. I wonder if that's the peak to the left that people are hiking up to. I don't know. Let me keep my eyes straight though. Surely there would have been a marker. There's, there's got to be a building up here. People are like, wow, look at this. Wow. Ah. All right, we're definitely going to have to do this time lapse on the way back down. Okay, this is. The wind is blowing hard up here. The temperature is 31 degrees, so any moisture is going to start freezing. I'm glad we're in an Outback. Outback hopefully, and handling, right, JT? Yeah. But hopefully <laughs> the gas will freeze. No, that won't happen. We don't have to worry about that. So I feel like we're at the peak, but there's just this rocks around us it's that. 30 degrees. Alright, 30 degrees. It just dropped quickly. Right here in front of us. Alright, let's time lapse this. Cut a thousand more feet to climb. This is getting exciting. I'm enjoying it. Are y'all enjoying it? I'm being creeped out, and I'm also enjoying it. <laughs> yes, it sounds like it's making you feel good. It sounds like <laughs> being part monkey, JT. You're really good at climbing, so this has got to make you feel good. No. <laughs> I'm All not right. as creeped out on this part of the road. I feel like we're starting to lose our visibility a little bit. We really are. The clouds are moving so quickly. I mean, they're really pillowing up and just pouring over the mountain. You can see it. They're almost like dropping down. See that? Right in front of us, they're kind of, the clouds are going down like rain. This is wild. It's 29 degrees. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Let's just keep on grilling. Oh, this is a good, I hope the video's picking up. Look how quickly it's moving right in front of that car in front of us. That's moving tens of miles an hour. That is amazing. I can hear it. Can you hear it? Yes. Listen, we're rolling with it. It sounds like a jet, sound like a jet airplane. Listen. That is blowing hard. Alright. Here goes the visibility. We're losing it. Roll that window back up. This sign says, oh, we're just at mile 18. It doesn't say how high we are. I'm going to guess 33, 34, 35. Alright, let's come back over here. Let's Or I don't know, maybe, what do you think, 100 feet of visibility? Maybe I can't see anything. We can't see that far, you're right. I can't We're so close to the top. There's a chance we may have to turn around, y'all. I want to turn around. You want to turn around? Yes. Yeah, we're not going to be able to see anything. Let's, let's just. Yeah, we're not going to be able to see anything. I can't see anything below. Okay, well, let's, let's just keep on going a little bit, and then we'll decide when we get to the next point where we actually can turn around. We are here. Let's go in the visitor center for like a second. All right, we're going to go into the visitor center and then we'll start easing back down. Caution, icy conditions. Definitely icy conditions. 
You get your super warm clothes on, JT. Ooh, we made it. <laughs> that was what an experience right there. Oh, the last few moving. years of my life. Look how fast the clouds are moving. Oh, that is amazing. I can't find my other glove. Oh, I spotted something special. Let's go in the building, warm up a little bit. Let's see if they're probably going to turn us around pretty quickly. All right, here we go. Let's go. All right, we're at the top of Pike's Peak. I'm gonna lose my hat up here. This wind is blowing hard. Let's get this built. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Let's go. All right, thanks for traveling with us. We'll try to get it on the way back down also. Let's get in here. Come on, y'all. Oh, oh. 14,114 feet. Alright, let's do a quick tour of the exhibit up here. Pretty cool. Let's see where we are. That was wild coming up here. So there's our visibility outside. It's about 10 feet. When crossing into the Colorado Territory at the end of a long and arduous journey. When the first road was constructed in 1887, a carriage could climb the 19 miles of steep curves to the summit for one dollar. By 1891, so riders enjoy the trip to the top on the Cog Railroad. Oh In 1892, U.S. Congress established the Mount, Pikes Peak Timber Mount Reserve, Everest. which to this day continues as part of the National Forest System. In 1921, wow, cool. Fred Barr began construction the of a 13-mile-long trail from Manitou Springs to the summit. The following year, Barr became one of the original Frozen Five. Creators of the Adamant JT, Club. check it out. Here's and all the so mountains. The that were, were kind of, of climbing to similar the top to Pikes Peak to bring Africa, in the South New America, Year with an impressive display Mount Everest. of fireworks. There we are. It wasn't the only annual we're event right to take root. In 1916, entrepreneur Spencer Kennedy constructed the Pikes Peak. We're, right, we're close to the top. Imagine going to there, though. And a new kind of thrill seeker arrived. At the annual Pikes Peak International Hill Climb, drivers from around the world navigate the 156 turns in a race to the top. <laughs> Let's see, we started off at about 60 degrees temperature. Got up and was, drove for 20, 30 minutes, and it was in the 20s. <laughs> Then we lost all our oxygen. We all feel a little bit fuzzy. How do you feel about it? Car sick. <laughs> it's kind of like, I don't know. It's not car sick for me. It's, I don't know. It's all, I'm not completely me. It's something weird. How do you feel? I feel weird. <laughs> it's weird, this lack of oxygen at 14,000 feet. Anyways, we got to have a really fresh, hot donut and pretzels to get us hydrated. <laughs> Anyways. We're about to head out of here and we'll, we'll time lapse on the way down. Thanks for watching. All right, so just talked to a ranger. And he said it's a, probably a really good idea to go ahead and just start heading down because they're worried about how they're going to handle this. He said there's debris and everything flying. So let's get outside into the 
And look at this. That's the uh, that's accumulating everywhere. All right, I'm gonna quit messing around. I'm gonna get on the road. We're in the outback. I feel safe. Let's do this. <laughs> Y'all ready to do this? We're gonna head down. Woo! What do you think, JT? Holy <laughs> What do you think, Beth? So I talked to a ranger, he's like, it's a really good idea for y'all to start heading down now. So we're gonna do that. Let's get a little time lapse going. I mean, y'all enjoy the show on the way down. That's gonna be good. All right, while we're driving down, what are y'all's thoughts about being up here? Um, it's really pretty. <laughs> This one is one I would definitely just come in the summer and be with all the other tourists so you could see something. Everybody's on the edge. It's just crazy. But the wind is blowing so hard. Look, there's an outback in front of us. So the outbacks are heading down. We have these all wheel drive that'll help. It doesn't do everything, but look at the visibility. I want y'all to see the visibility. And see these people coming up. Look at this guy on the motorcycle. Oh my goodness. He must be freezing. Listen to it. Just listen to it. I'm gonna roll one just down for a second. No. No. Look at that. Listen to that. No. Woo! <laughs> wow. Like we do have ice on the car. I see ice on the car. Already. Uh, all right, we're gonna ease down real slow. I'll time lapse it. Ooh, look at the little icicles just jumping around on the road. They're just jumping around. Look at them, like little tiny snowballs. And so I was talking to a ranger. He said the biggest worry was the debris. He's saying that there was debris flying around up here. So that's what they're worried about. Little ice right here. Look at this. See, we see if we slip. Ice? Nope. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I can't do time lapse yet. Oh. Look at the lake down there. Beth, don't freak out. Don't freak out. I'm freaking out. <laughs> wow. Two heads on the steering wheel. Ten and two. Look at the. Look at that. Ooh, this is clear. You can see it coming up. Look at that. Just climbing this mountain. Easy does it. Easy does it. Wow. What do you think, JT? Crazy. So we are we are driving on ice right now. Coming down. I don't know if you can see the outback down there. It's it's way ahead of us. They're going a lot faster than us. But this cloud is just whoosh, blowing the storm across. I'll tell I, mean, you the, I wouldn't be able to breathe, but I would feel much safer walking up this than driving it. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of testing it out. I'm kind of hitting hard with the brakes and all, and it's, it's very secure. This road's very secure. And the lower we get, think, think about it, the temperature is getting a little bit higher and higher. Yeah, yeah we're doing fine. Man, this is something special. I wonder, I... I tell you, the way I, I was looking at the ranger in his eyes, it seems like this is kind of common. Look at all the ice over there on the side. This is super common. This is not... I could see a little worry in him, 
but he wasn't worried enough to turn people around. They would be at the, they would be down here, you know, at 11, 10,000 feet, trying to say, hey, I don't need to be up here. Look at that view over there. Well, we're going to stop. All right, so views are coming in to our vision. Yes, they are. JT, look what I see. Get out to the left and all. Starting to feel normal already, huh? Yeah. I think this was a lull in the in the journey up. A bit of a lull. We need to get out somewhere and get ourselves a picture. It's Thirty degrees. What do you think, Beth? Top, Feeling better? Twenty. Feel good right here. Might want to go slow right here. Look at that. Get off in the dirt for I'm gonna go in the dirt for a second. I hit the dirt. I don't there's the turn. Wow, look at all that. Just listen to the wind on the car too. That is so fast. I wish I could see the the speed of it. Are you taking pictures back there, buddy? Beth, would you like to drive? Nope. These panoramic views are amazing. Look at this. I think this is a prettier view than coming up. It's definitely prettier. You can see these wide open spaces. Once you get down about this far, the sock on the hill, what do they call it? Socked in. Being socked in, it's over. But listen to that wind. <laughs> that is something. I can feel it on the car. It's not blowing it around that bad. It is blowing it around. Hey, look, JT. There's ice. There's a pond down there that's halfway iced over. Wait, what? I don't see a spot to pull over, but it's down there on the left. We can't pull over to see it. Do you, look, do, look, look, look right there. Look. Can you see? Look out to your left. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. It's halfway iced over. Yeah. We can go do some ice fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, this is the way to see all this is normal speed, not time lapsing it. This is almost kind of flat right here. So I wanted to, so this is where everybody was getting out to hike the rest of the way. Oh, they were. They were doing some hiking. That's right. But I wonder if you th they think of this as, so you say Pike's Peak. Is Pike's Peak just that one spot we were at, or is it all of this? Or is this the Pike's Peak National Forest, National Area, National Park? I don't know how, what they call it. Oh, look at that view coming right there. Look at that. That's nice. I'm gonna get a picture right here, JT. Yes. What do you think, Beth? Take a little break. Let's get out right here and look at these views for a second. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put y'all on time.
look at the side of the road right there. There is no side. <laughs> the shoulder is six inches and then it just drops. Wow. Beth, you're like leaning toward me right now. speed the views here are spectacular this is amazing put that on a t-shirt look at the look at the dust being blown right there just whipped through there oh hear that wind look at this right here look at this these turns I don't want to be on a bicycle right now, but, well, maybe not with the wind, but. <laughs> Whoa, you hear that? You hear rocks hitting, hitting the car? There's like sand pebbles trying to take the paint off the car. starting to grow again. I don't I see a little bit of grass, but I don't see any trees or anything. Look at how far you can see. So we we went from like a hundred feet, fifty feet, forty feet of visibility to miles now. Is that miles you we're looking at? Beautiful. Brakes are working good. <laughs> Aren't you glad? Yes. All right, let's time lapse. Tory brake check. Make sure they're not too hot. On a cold day like this, you still got to check them because brakes can get hot. So we're going to pull over here, get a little brake check. And I'm sure some folks may go to the potty. All right, I'm gonna stop it here and then we'll get back with y'all. This is fun. All right, so we're at Glen Cove, 11,450 feet. This is our top, this is high as you can get now. So you come up, if you here, we got lucky actually, and they will stop you. They will stop you right here. You can't get up any higher. We can't go up any further. So we got lucky to get up. This guy right here, he came up here to deal on his bike. They won't let him go. <laughs> They're gonna send him back down. Oh, it stings. Anyways, that's this is what they said. That's the part of this season. Things change every five minutes. We're gonna head back down. We'll time lapse it down there. Thanks for watching. Let's get on the road. Hey, buddy. Fine. You gonna make it? You gonna make it? Oh yeah, yeah. Just putting on some more layers. I like it. That's your brave. I like it, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna let him get in front of us, and then we are going to try to follow him just a tad. Whoosh! But a bike can go faster than a car. Watch it. He's yeah, he's flying. You can't keep up. There. Whoa! That's like I thought that was ice. He's going over. Look how fast he's going, JT. We, we were going so slow. So he biked up, up to 11,500 feet. He couldn't go as high as we did because they stopped him. His goal was to get to the top. He said he struggled coming up all this, but look how he is flying. I like it. Let's see how fast he's going. He's got 40 right now, 41. We're at 41. He's probably gonna hit 45, maybe 50 on the way down. Oh, he's having to cross over. That's not that's not good. <laughs> he's wobbling for the wind. Uh, he'll hit 50 easily down through here. We don't have to hit if 50 he, <laughs> car, <by the laughs> He'll get slowed down by these right cars. Oh, he's passing the cars up. Look at him. Woohoo! He's having fun. JT, we're coming to do this. Yeah. There he's, he's going. All right, we'll slow it back down. We don't want anybody to get car sick. But we will.
right, so we've driven down from the top of Pikes Peak to these lakes right here, and this is actually a source of drinking water for some towns. Uh, anyways, it's amazing. Oh, the wind's still strong, but it's warm down here. So warm. People just walk around, do all types of things. There's supposed to be all types of trout in this, this water right here. JT is going to kill me because we don't have any way to fish. But anyways, y'all enjoy this. We're gonna, we'll hike around these lakes a little while, and then we'll get the rest of the road. Thanks for watching. All right, so these lakes are a source of city drinking water, I guess, for Colorado Springs and Manitou Springs. So we're gonna come down here and go check it all out, see what's going on. This is gonna be good. What are you doing, JT? that monster out of there <laughs> yeah get it get it get it oh oh nope we've caught the grass fish before huh JT yeah <laughs> oh, look at that rig though let's, let's look at that rig he's got so he's got the weight up there at the top He's got to hook down at the bottom. I got you. Okay. Well, the weight sinks and the egg floats. I see. Okay, so the weight's bringing so it to the, the bottom. Weight goes to the bottom, and then this, these eggs go like this. Well, they float and back up. They're floating off the bottom. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> All right. JT, you almost got a trout. Yeah, twice. <laughs> twice. That was fun. Yeah. leaving the Pikes Peak National Park but we are still on the Pikes Peak Road and we're only a mile below Pikes Peak in elevation I believe so right now we are at what does it say 8,500 feet we've descended quite a bit all right let's keep cruising right along is it we are back down here to the north pole which i guess the north pole is the bottom of pikes peak road it has a little bit more but this is really it so free admission today Ooh, check it out free admission y'all want to go to the north pole yes <laughs> all right i think we're going to the north pole we'll tell everybody bye and guys i'm going to call that an adventure was that an adventure that was an adventure that was amazing <laughs> It ended up being a lot more than we wanted it to be. And it this is the wrong way. was exciting. I got my navigator here. She's gonna keep me straight. 
I'm going to drop them off up there here at the North Pole. Go see what Santa Claus has made for everybody. <laughs> you better be good. Don't get on that naughty list. So here's Santa's gift shop. It's been here for 68 years of fun. All I'm going to say is thanks for watching. And we will see y'all on. Hold on, not yet. Not yet. Let's get a little closer. On the. Yeah, on the next adventure. Bye, another two marshmallows. Bye. Bye again. Merry Christmas.